Hey everybody, this is Don King from TheMushroomHunter.com. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about a commonly overlooked mushroom, which is a Polyporus squamosus, or the Dryad Saddle or Pheasant Back Mushroom. So pheasant backs are only found on uh, dead logs or, or stumps like you see here. And you can see there are several growing out of this stump. So when harvesting any kind of mushroom, uh, we don't want to damage the actual organism that's below the surface. So it's always best to use a sharp knife and cut it off as close to the base as possible. Pheasant back or dryad saddle mushroom is a polypore, which means uh, underneath it does not have gills. Uh, it has kind of just open pores, as you can see here. Um, also, the top of the mushroom looks like a pheasant's back, like a bunch of sort of feathers feathering out from the center. This mushroom grows in early spring, actually sometimes all the way through the summer. Uh, most people overlook it, I think, because people who try this probably aren't getting young, tender specimens. You want to find these when they're really small, like, like about this size. Uh, when they start to really fan out, or when the pores underneath get really big and open, the mushroom's going to be really tough. It uh, might taste okay, but it's definitely not going to be necessarily edible. It's going to be sort of rubbery when you cook it. So another distinguishing characteristic with the Dryad Saddle is its smell. It smells exactly like watermelon rinds. Now Dryad Saddles can be used just like any other mushroom. Uh, in soups and stir fries, again, however you would use other mushrooms. I like to slice them really thin and fry them in a little olive oil and butter with a little salt and pepper and they'll actually take on a bacon-like flavor. They're actually quite delicious. Now if you happen to find an older specimen, you're basically not going to want to eat the stem. The stem's going to be the, mo the most likely part of the mushroom that is going to be tough. So again, if you find an older one, you might want to just kind of take the outer edges, which should be more soft and tender. So if you happen to find these when you're out, let's say, looking for morels like I am today and aren't finding anything uh, in that realm, take a couple of these home, throw them in your basket and fry them up and uh, trust me, you'll be glad you did. Once again, this is uh, Don King from the mushroomhunter.com. Happy hunting. <laughs>